In this video we're going to be making ourselves a website for Volleyball Australia. It's nothing overly new that we're going to learn in this tutorial today. As you can see here on the home page, we've got a bit of info on the left, picture on the right, we've got our headers, our menu bar and our footer like usual. One of the new things you are going to learn in this tutorial though is how to do a drop down menu. So in our menu bar here when I hover over the word teams you'll see that it breaks down into three categories in this drop down menu. I can't actually click on the word teams but I can click on one of these three options. So if I want to find out about the Australian men's volleyball team I'll click on the men's link. If I want to find out about the women's I'll hit the women's link and we've got a bit of beach volleyball as well that we can find out about. All right. um, then the other page is Volleyfest nothing new on there, just got a hyperlink and we've also got the contact page which is going to load up a Google map on the right hand side to show their actual physical address. Okay, There it is. One of the other new things you're going to learn in this tutorial is how to put a telephone link in. So for those viewing this website on mobile devices and they want to actually call up Volleyball Australia they can click on one of these links here and it will load up their uh, phone app so they can make a phone call quickly and easily. Alrighty, so that's about all you need to see. Let's get started now. Um, we will begin today by going into our accounts and making some new folders. First folder you need to make, I just realised I've made a spelling mistake. First folder is going to be called Volleyball Australia website and inside of that you're going to have two things. You're going to have a bit of information. Okay, This information document I've supplied to you and that has all the information you need to put on each page. Okay, So it's got the heading at the top of what page we're on and the required information. Okay, So that will save you a lot of typing. Uh, furthermore in that folder we've got our images here so inside the images folder we've got the images that we're going to use in our website. Okay, There isn't too many of them. Alright so once you've got those folders all created you're ready to start making your first page in brackets. So load up brackets now and make yourself a new document. Don't forget before we start typing we need to save that so let's save it in the folder we just created. I just have to find where that is. There it is Web Design Volleyball Australia we're going to start with the home page, which we always call the index.html page. As usual, remember to put the extension.html on the end of this page so the computer knows you are working with a website. Alrighty, so the first thing we want to do is put in our doc type tag to tell the computer we are making a HTML document. And then on the next line, we'll do our HTML tag. Now, inside this HTML tag, I'm going to get you to write the word lang equals en. That basically tells the computer that we are making a website in English. Okay, so our language is English. All right. Inside the HTML tags, we'll do our head tag, and inside the head tags, we're going to put a title. Okay, the title for this is simply Volleyball Australia. Okay, that's fairly straightforward. We are going to put a link to a style sheet in there a bit later on, that will come in the second video, so we're not going to worry about that now, but you can leave a little space there if you would like. And that completes our head section, so make sure it's closed off. We go below the head section now to put in our body. Okay, so in the body section, remember this is the section of the website that's actually going to appear on your screen. So in the body, we're going to start with the header. Okay, so let's start with the header tag. And inside the header tag, we're going to put a picture. So let's do the image source tag, look in your images folder and we want to put in the header picture. Okay, Just save that by pressing Control S quickly and if you hit your lightning bolt up the top here or whatever way you'd like to preview your website you can have a look at how that's going so far. It's not going to be much to it, basically we've got Volleyball Australia which is our title written in the tab at the top and we have got a header here. There's actually more to this header uh, that we can't see. There is some white writing in it, so we're going to have to put a colour behind that when we style up our page a bit later on with some CSS. Okay, beneath the header, we're going to put in our nav bar. Okay, now our nav bar comes as an unordered list, which is basically bullet points. Okay, so the first list item that we're going to put in to our unordered list is our home page. Beneath that, we'll put in our second page, which is Teams. Um, beneath that, we're going to do another list item. Beneath the Teams, we're going to have our Volleyfest. 
And finally, just beneath the volley fest there, we're going to have our contact page. So add in another list item and put in your contact page. You'll notice that under teams I have left out those uh, sub pages or the other options that we're going to have in our little drop down menu. That's going to come in a little bit later on. Okay, so we're not going to worry about them just yet. Alright, so moving on, we're going to, you know, we've closed our list item, we've closed our unordered list, which is what we're after and we've closed our nav. So that's our nav section all finished off. If you save it up and have a preview of that, you can see we've got our menu bar. Okay, very simple obviously, but we will style that up with some CSS coding a bit later on. Coming in after the nav bar, we've got our main section, which is going to be called our article section of the web page. We're going to put a little header in, which is going to be a H2 header, and it's going to say overview. After our H2 header, and go down a little bit and we're going to throw in another image. Now I don't want this image to be a part of the main section of our web page. Okay, so if I go back to the example here, I'm going to have all this writing in the middle here and off to the side I'm just going to have a little section for the image. So what we're going to do is open up a section tag. And inside that section tag we're going to put an image. So image source equals go into your images folder and we want to put in the home page picture. So that's a pretty simple one. Uh, don't forget to put some alternate text in to describe what this picture is in case somebody can't load pictures on their web browser. We'll just write in some text instead. So this picture is actually a picture of a game of volleyball taking place. So we'll just write game of volleyball. And we'll just close that off. Okay. Press Control S to save it. Just remembered up the top here we've got our header with no alternate text. So we might as well put some alternate text in there and just We'll write header. That best describes that header at the top of the page as a header, so pretty simple. So if we save that and have a look, this is how it's going so far. We have got a massive picture in there, so we're going to have to reduce the size of that picture. Could do it through CSS, but I think I might just do it quickly in the image tag here. All I need to do is write width equals, I'm just going to write 550. That stands for 550 pixels. And if I go back and preview that now, you'll see it's a lot better size. Okay. When we style our page up later, we'll push that image over to the right-hand side of the page. But it's fine where it is for now. So that's our section tag all finished off. Now comes the writing. Okay. Remember I told you that you don't have to write everything that goes on this page? You simply need to copy and paste it from over on this Word document. So I'm going to copy the text there and paste it in to my page. Now it's going to need a bit of formatting. Okay. First of all, we need to break it into paragraphs and we need to get rid of these bullet points. So each time I see a bullet point, I'm just going to press enter. And that looks like it indents my text for me, which is handy. Alright, so that's looking pretty good. Now it's just time to style it up a bit with some paragraphs. So, beneath our section tags here, we've got the style of our text where it says Volleyball Australia Limited. Put it in a P tag. Okay, it's going to make a new paragraph. You can cut out the closing P tag and put it at the end if you would like. Okay. Coming in next, we want some bullet points. Okay, so what we're going to do is create an unordered list. So, UL for an unordered list. Don't forget to put the closing tag down the bottom. Okay, coming inside that unordered list, we put our first list item. Now, our first list item, or our first bullet point, is that first paragraph. So I'm just going to cut it out and stick it between those two list item tags there. Going down, I'll put in another list item and move the other paragraph below that in between the list item tags. Okay, so it's fairly straightforward now. We're just going through and adding list items in, cutting them paragraph by paragraph. Whoops. It's going to look pretty good once we're done. Second last one, just cutting and pasting between the LI tags, and last one now. Cut it out, paste it in. Okay, so we've got all our list items here now, which are individual bullet points, and we've got our unordered list, opening tag, and closing tag. Okay, so that's about all we're going to do, I think, on that page. Oh, actually, we'll put a footer in at the bottom, so we'll do that now quickly. So. We've closed off the article section, 
that's the main part of our web page done just below the article we're going to put in a footer very quickly okay so inside the footer we're simply going to write copyright Oops. and to do the copyright symbol remember we need to do the and copy so the ampersand copy semicolon that just puts in a copyright symbol right in 2017 volleyball Australia okay if we scroll down you should have your whoops, body section closed off you should have your HTML section closed off that's basically our first page done for the moment okay so I'm just going to save that up just have a preview make sure we've got everything in there so we've got a header menu bar nice h2 heading our picture we've got all the text in with some bullet points and a footer yep that looks ugly but that's our HTML done for now we're going to use CSS styling a bit later on to make that look good okay so once that page is saved up what we're going to do is start work on our second page okay so the second page we're going to look at is the men's page so if I just go back over here to teams and look at the men's page it's going to look a bit like this just a little bit of writing and a picture basically a lot of the stuff we can copy and paste from our first page like our menu bar and our footer things like that so what I might do is just go to file and save as instead of saving it as index I'm going to save this one as men's that's going to save all this information I've already got written as men's okay so nothing needs to change at the top until we get down to the h2 heading that says overview where it says overview we're going to change that to say men's holy ruse indoor okay and going down a bit further we're going to need to change this image okay so what I'm going to do there is I'm just going to delete everything that's written so far so it says image source equals go to your images folder and you should have a volleyroos men image that you can stick in and the alternate text for this one is just going to be um, volleyroos men's team we'll close those brackets off and that should be our image all sorted what I am going to do is delete the section tags okay we're not going to have that off to the side like we were on the home page we're just going to have this one sitting at the top alright so we'll leave that image as is all the information below here needs to go so everything inside that article section um, just needs to go for the minute and we're going to put in some more text now okay remember that text can be copied from over in the word document so I've got men's Volley Roos indoor, just copy all those paragraphs, control C and control V to paste them in. So basically every time you see a new paragraph, press enter, you should space them out and put them just indented across on the page. Alright, so that's looking good. Um might need to indent them one more time, so I'll just highlight and press tab, that will just indent them across a little bit. And now we can put paragraphs in. So I'm going to cheat here a little bit. I'm just going to do a copy and paste job. So I'm going to copy that opening P tag, pressing Control C, and at the start of each paragraph, I'm just going to press Control V to paste them in. Now to close off my P tag at the end of each paragraph, I'm just going to copy this closing P tag and paste it in at the end of each paragraph. So Control C to copy, Control V to paste. That's pretty straightforward, and that's got all of our information now broken into paragraphs so that was pretty easy um, looking down the bottom we've got our footer already in there let's save that and have a look okay head up menu bar h2 heading picture information that page is done okay very quick one all right so let's go back here and what we're going to do is go to file and save as this time i'm going to save it as women's Okay, so we're using the information we've already got on the men's, now to save it as the women's. The top section for the women's page, which we're editing now, as you can see over here, we've got the women's.html page name, so that means we're editing the women's page. Everything at the top here stays the same until we get to our H2 heading again. Where it says men's volley ruse indoor, change it to women's volley ruse indoor. Okay. That's pretty easy. Underneath that we've got an image, which needs to change. Basically, where it says volley ruse men, just change the volley ruse women. Same with the alternate text. Should say volley ruse women's team. Okay, 
That's looking good. The information below there now, that's all about the men. We need to delete that. And we're going to put in the information about the women now. Okay, so back in the Word document, find the women's information. Press Control C to copy that. Back to brackets and paste it in. Okay, remember each time you see a new paragraph, press Enter. That should clear up our formatting a little bit. Going to need to just tab those across one hit. Now we need to put p tags in to break these into paragraphs. Okay, so copy that opening p tag and put it at the start of each paragraph. And then at the end of each paragraph, close off the p tags. So control C to copy, control V to paste. That's looking good. So we've got our paragraphs broken up for the women's, got our footer at the bottom, all our other paragraphs seem closed off. So let's save that and have a look. Everything's good at the top. There's our picture of the women and there's some information about the women. Alright, so that's looking good as well. Okay, this is too easy. I'm going to do some beach volleyball next. Okay, so let's the women's are saved. Let's go to File and Save As. We'll save over the top of that and we're going to give it the name beach.html. Click Save. Again, the top section is fine. For now, we're going to come down to our H2 heading and we're just going to call it Volleyroos Beach. Okay, it's got the men and women both in this one. For the image, we're going to need to change that. Okay, we're actually going to put it into a section in a moment. So I'm going to delete the image from there. I'm going to put the information in first. Alright, so let's go and find the information in our Word document about the beach volleyball. And we're going to copy that with Control C and we're going to go paste it in. Remember, each time you see a new paragraph, press Enter. Don't worry about those bullet points for the minute. We're going to fix them in just a sec. Um, Alright, so paragraphs. I have to nudge these all across one more. There we go. Let's put in our P tag at the start of each paragraph. Just a copy and paste job again. Um, major events will have one. Again, the following. And athletes. Don't forget to close off the P tags at the end of each paragraph. Oops. P. Um, we're going to put them after the bullet points there. We'll probably have to. Ticket. Let's put it after major events actually. So after major events you've got a P there. Let's put it straight after it. Um, what else have we got? Two more paragraphs we want to close off. Alrighty, so we should have all those paragraphs closed off now. Now for this picture, what I'm going to do, it's not quite the same as the ones on the other page. It's not a big long one that fits across the top of the page nicely. What it is, it's going to appear on the right hand side of the page. So we're going to put it back into a section. So after this first paragraph, we're going to press enter a couple of times and put in our image source tag, look in images and put in the Volleyroos Beach image. The alternate text simply going to say Volleyroos Beach Team. You can close off those brackets. Let's save it and have a bit of a look. It's not going to look perfect just yet. Okay, top's looking alright. Pitch is quite large. I have to resize that. And our bullet points down here are a little bit stuffed, so we're going to have to fix them as well. So let's just go back and get those sorted. For the image, uh, we're just going to change the size here again. So if we write in the width equals, and we'll make it about 400 wide. It's about 400 pixels wide. I think it's going to be a good size. Yeah, looks a bit nicer. Um, that image we're going to have to put in section tags because we do want to push it over to the right hand side of the page so we'll put it in its own section sorry just getting this formatting right there we go so we've got section tags and the image inside it we'll style up that section with our CSS style sheet later on uh, these bullet points we're going to have to get those looking good so what we're going to do now is put in some bullet points so on the next line under that P there we're going to put in an unordered list and inside that unordered list we're going to put in some list items Alright, first list item, that one we'll just cut and paste it and stick it in. Do up some more list item tags. What I might do is copy and paste this list item tag a few times. 
then I can just cut and paste this text from the bullet points below and stick it in between some LI tags. Remember each LI tag creates one bullet point. Alright, so I can delete those excess bullet points. There's no need for them anymore. So we've put in an unordered list underneath major events and we've got all our list items or each of our bullet points labelled there. So I'm going to just press Ctrl S to save it and have a preview. If I scroll down now you can see our bullet points looking a lot nicer. The rest of our page seems pretty good. Um, just one last thing I might do. Major events here I'm going to put into bold text. So the quick way to do bold text is just write the word strong in a tag and put it around major events. Okay, so those strong tags will put major events into some bold text for us, like so. Okay, so that page is done. We're up to our last page now. I know this is taking a little while, but we're getting there. So the beach is saved. We're just going to go to save as, and we'll call this last one contact.html. All right. So our contact page, a little bit different layout to the other ones, but the top section is all the same as usual. Okay, so when we get down to the article section where things will change. So I'm just going to change the H2 heading first of all to contact us. Oh, I've forgotten the page. I'll have to come back to Volleyfest in a minute. I just realised. We'll do this contact page anyway for now. So contact page. Okay, we've got contact us written there. Everything below contact us basically in the article is it, going to disappear. So I'm going to delete that. Okay. After contact us we need to put in a Google map. So what I'm going to do is just jump onto Google Maps and we're going to search up the Australian Institute of Sport because that's the address for Volleyball Australia. So Australian Institute of Sport. There it is. It's in the ACT. Okay, so once that loads up, what you need to do is click on this share button here and click embed map. And we're just going to copy the link that comes up right there. Okay, back to brackets and simply paste it. Paste it in. Like so. Alright, so a few things we're going to do here. Um, we're going to delete the border and the frame border. There's no need for those anymore, so we'll just delete those from our uh, from our code and the width and the height we're going to change make it a little bit bigger to 750 width and for the height we'll make it about 530 now you can change those width and height settings to suit your needs just whatever fits nicely on your page but I think they're going to fit well onto my page let us save that and go for a preview it's just going to ask for my login details and hopefully this Google Maps is going to load up in just a moment. Sure enough it does. You can see it's interactive so you can move it around, zoom in and out and whatnot. It's a good start. Alright, coming in below that Google Map, I'm going to have to put in some contact details. Okay, so let's go back to our writing here. Remember the Volleyfest page we're coming back to? I forgot about that one. We'll just do these contact details at the minute. Okay, so copy that, paste it in. You'll notice that I did leave out these links. We can put those in later on if need be. They're the social media links. Okay, so I haven't worried about them just yet. Okay, so back in here we're going to put in a paragraph around that first line of text that says Volleyball Australia can be contacted by the following means. And then we're just going to indent the rest of this text. So the first way we can contact... Oh, shouldn't have done that. First way we can contact Volleyball Australia is through email, so I might put that down on a new line. After that we've got a postal address, we've got a physical address, and we've got a courier deliveries address there. So just break those three sections up for me, make it a bit easier to see. I'm going to need to put them into paragraphs. Okay, so first one is email, that's going to go into its own paragraph. Now I want the word email in bold text, so we're going to write in the word strong. And that just goes around the word email. Okay. After that we've got an email link which we're going to put in. Okay, so to put that in, what we do, I'm just going to put a space there. I'm just going to make a normal hyperlink. So ahref equals, I'm going to write the word mail to, which creates an email link. 
and we're going to put this inside the quotation marks and then close the quotation marks off. Okay. Then we're going to close the brackets to close our link off. Now at the moment there's no text that's going to appear in our page to show where that hyperlink is, so what we're going to do is copy that email address and just paste it in between the two pointy brackets there. Okay, so basically saying we've got an email link that's going to go to that address there. Okay, it'll open up our email account and it'll have that address in the address bar. This here is the text that's going to appear on our page. Okay, so it's inside the link tags or the A tags. Alright, so that's pretty straightforward. Down on the next line here, uh, what we need to do is create a line break first of all. So this goes down to the next line. So we just write the BR tag and close it off. It doesn't have an actual closing tag. You open it and close it just inside the same tag. And we've got calls within Australia, which needs to go in strong text, which makes it bold. Okay. And then straight after that, we've got a phone number. Now that phone number we're going to turn into a telephone link. All right. So I'm just going to copy that text while I've got it highlighted, and I'm going to put in a normal hyperlink. So a href equals I'm going to write the word tell and do a colon and put in that phone number. Now that phone number can't have any spaces or brackets in there so I'm just going to make it all one big phone number there. So you can see that there, I've highlighted it. And basically that's saying for people using their mobile phone they can click on this link now and it's going to be a telephone link. It will load up their phone app and allow them to click on that number. So this number here just needs to be cut out and put between the A tags. So that's what's going to appear on our page as the hyperlink. If I just save that and show you what's happening, so scroll down, you can see you've got the email link here, and we've got the telephone link here. It's looking quite ugly still at the moment, but we're going to make it look good in just a sec, once everything's all formatted. Um, I'm just going to copy this line here and bring it into the next one. So we're going to put in another line break, we're going to put in another strong tag, and then we're going to close that strong tag off. I don't know why that indented then, but anyway. So for international calls is inside strong tags to make it bold. And then we're going to do another telephone link. Okay, and it's basically going to be this number here again. So I'm just going to copy that. And I'm going to put it inside quotation marks here. I'm going to get rid of all the spaces, so it's just one big number. We will leave the little plus sign there. That just allows people overseas to call us. Okay, so don't need that quotation mark there. Okay, just have a look to make sure you've got that section right. So ahref equals, we've got the tell, colon, and then we've got the phone number. Remember to keep the plus sign in there. And so that, close your quotation marks, close your brackets off, and inside these pointy brackets, it's going to cut that phone number out and paste it in because that's what's going to appear on our page as the hyperlink. Okay, so I'm just going to save that. Uh, then we just move down to the next line and style up these addresses. Well, not style them up, just make them look a little bit nicer with some HTML. So obviously on their own paragraph there. We'll open it up and at the end of that paragraph, we'll close it off. It's going to indent all that. We'll do the same for these next couple. All right. So that was just the school bell ringing. Sorry about that. We'll keep moving. Um, so in the first paragraph here for the postal address, we just want to put in some bold text around the words postal address. So just put in the words strong and strong. I'm just going to do the same for physical and courier deliveries down low. I'm just going to copy and paste those strong tags in. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, if we have a preview of that, it's not going to look perfect just yet. You'll notice that the addresses all appear on one line. We want them to be broken up on a different or multiple lines. So what I'm going to do is just put in some BR tags. So these ones again, you can copy that if you want. So I'll just press Control C to copy it. Now, at the start of each one here, I might just put a BR, BR, BR. And just do that for each line in the addresses. 
just puts in a line break to push them down to a new line. I save that now and have a preview. It should be looking pretty decent. Okay, so you can see it's split up the postal address, the physical address, and the courier deliveries address. That's looking pretty good. I don't think there's much more we need to do now. So that is the contact page done. Okay. Last page we've got to go is the Volleyfest page. Alright, so back over here in brackets one last time. We're just going to go to Save As and we're going to call this Volleyfest. Okay, as usual, top section is all the same. It's when we get down to our article where we need to start changing things. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is change our H2 header to say Volleyfest. So I've got a new heading in there. And actually above that we're going to put in an image. Okay, so do your usual image source tags, go into your images folder and find the Volleyfest photo and stick that in. The alternate text for this one is simply going to say Volleyball Volunteers. And you can close off that bracket, save it and have a quick preview. Okay, that's looking good. This is our picture at the moment. Okay, and there's our heading below it. Picture's way too big for my liking, so we might as well quickly resize that picture. Uh, just back in the image tag there, we'll just change its width to, I'll say 275. It's going to be a lot smaller than what it is now. And I'll save that. You'll notice that the picture is a lot smaller. Okay, still all the contact details on this page, which we need to get rid of, so we'll do that now. So look for the iframe tag and scroll down to the bottom of the article there. Just delete all that. And we need to go get the information for the Volleyfest uh, section of our Word document. So we'll copy that. Actually, I just realised we should have Volley Volleyfest volunteers written in the H2 tag there. Now I can paste in this information. Okay, remember to press enter each time you see a new paragraph. It should be looking something like that, I would say. And we're going to put in some paragraphs. Okay, that's a fairly simple one. We'll put in our opening P tag at the start of the paragraph there. Let's go down and copy and paste it into the other ones. Um, probably don't need that link. On a different line. So now I'm just going to close off my P tags. Again, just copying and pasting. All right. So we should have one, two, three paragraphs. First two paragraphs we don't need to touch. They're fine. Down in this one, as you can see, we've got a hyperlink we need to put in. Okay. So just before that hyperlink, we need to put in the word or in the tags ahref and just put those quotation marks around that link. We also want this link to open up in a new page, so make sure the target equals underscore blank, and you can close your quotation marks off. Now we want this link to appear on our page as the actual text for the hyperlink, so copy that, and just paste it in between the two A tags. So you can see I've got my A tag highlighted here. Good. All right, so that's our hyperlink uh, done up for that one. We'll just close our article off, which we've done. Our footers down the bottom, body, HTML, everything's closed off. All right, so that's looking pretty good at the moment. That's our volley first page. So that's going to do us for this video. What I'm going to get you to do is just pop back to brackets. Yeah, everything's saved up. Um, I'm going to end the video now. I'm going to come back in the second part of this tutorial where I'm going to style it up using CSS and I'm also going to get this menu bar looking a bit better than what it is by adding in those uh, drop down features. Alright, so I'll stop it here and I'll see you in the next video.